What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode. Today, I want to discuss a Caterpillar Tunnel versus a Poly Low Tunnel. Both of these are tools that are used to extend the season to grow food for your farm in the shoulder seasons, in the spring, and in the fall. It's a fantastic tool for your farm or for your garden, but I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison and talk about the pros and cons, so let's jump into it. All right, so let's first talk about the Poly Low Tunnel. Now, the Poly Low Tunnel has some pros and a lot of cons, in my opinion. I think the biggest pro, though, is it doesn't cost that much to build. You're basically building a Poly Low Tunnel with electrical conduit, and you're making hoops, and then you're pulling that plastic over the top of those hoops. I did a video on how to build Poly Low Tunnels, and I'll put a link above to that if you're interested in watching that. So my one suggestion would be if you do build poly low tunnels would be to really anchor the end hoops or the end bows down really well. And so we've anchored them like this. We hammered in a T-post and we just tied a rope to this bow and tied it to the T-post. Now, some of the biggest cons to me to the poly low tunnel is it's just a pain in the butt. Um, you know, to access the bed, you've got to pull the plastic up. You've got to vent the sides. Um, every day so that your plants don't croak and doing that on you know 10 poly low tunnels is just not very fun they just don't hold up well to the weather um, if you get snow if you get high winds um, without reinforcing these hoops they're just going to collapse over time i think another con is there's not that much airspace in them it will protect your crops to a certain temperature however there's not as much airspace to heat up in a low tunnel versus a caterpillar tunnel so to be honest, I personally hate poly low tunnels, but here's the pro. Is they're affordable? And when you're in a bind and you need to get some, some plants covered in the shoulder season, like right now it is March and we just had some, a cold front move in and I had some old poly low tunnels laying around. And so it, it worked out great because I was able to protect my crops um, in a bind when I needed to get them protected. Okay, so now let's talk about the Caterpillar tunnel. My personal favorite, it is also more expensive. It basically looks like a big greenhouse, but what's great about it is you can walk in and out of it. Um, you can access your crops. You don't have to pull up plastic and all that like you do on a poly low tunnel. Um, however, it is much more expensive, but I think the greatest pro to a Caterpillar tunnel is you have way more airspace. So when you do get those cold nights, you can close this tunnel up late afternoon and really trap a lot of heat in here. And it gives you the ability to protect your crops and extend the season without the pain of a poly low tunnel. So this is a farmer's friend tunnel. It's 50 feet long by 16 feet wide. We really love it. You can fit four to five 50 foot beds in here, 30 inch wide beds. And this is a great product. Yo. So here's another Caterpillar tunnel from farmer's friend that we actually are using for a greenhouse. And that's the thing I love about these Caterpillar tunnels. They're versatile. You can put them over field crops. You can make it into a greenhouse. We've got our whole seed starting operation set up in this 25 foot caterpillar tunnel from Farmer's Friends. So you've got lots of options, y'all. 